The pursuit of knowledge knows no boundaries. Your old age, ay, ano, no, shelter and protection. I'm Toim De Leon Imao. I studied in the Maryland Institute College of Art under the Reinhardt School of Sculpture. I had my Fulbright in 2010 and I graduated in 2012. Came to know of the Fulbright as a young child. Palang. It's through the stories of my dad. Uh, my dad was a Fulbright scholar in 1960. He went to Kansas pan. University. Si, ano, si Rizal is more relaxed. Bonifacio is more nakataas yung sword niya. Can I explain around this one about um, mythical heroes? Eh? It's amazing that there are also other schools that are not re readily on the radar or in the map that are quite surprising. I, it was a welcome surprise to me that uh, Micah was introduced as a pro probably an option for me to study. And when I came there, you know, it was like, it was, the, the entire trip was just magical. I mean, my first week was great. Uh, so I think the bottom line is that you just have to be open with uh, other options that are not readily uh, told to you or probably not, you know, uh, you'll just have to trust these people who arranges uh, these institutions for you to consider and uh, research more. You have to s practice a certain level of flexibility you know, um, they say that you have to plan out. Yes, it's good to have a plan, but at the same time, you have to uh, be open to the forces around you, uh, to these inspirations that probably would just pop up. And you have to learn to listen uh, to the, either the people or the environment in which uh, you can probably get some really good things uh, working for you. So these are, ito naman ginagawa nila yung mga pastor naman na dinosay ni If you study art here, the textbooks and everything. You can only go as far as probably going further studies through the internet or buying additional books or going to the library. But there, you have the chance to actually experience the artwork. You have to actually come into contact with the materials that are discussed in the textbook. If you put that talent, the Filipino talent, within the context of an American educational system and with the resources, available to him at his disposal you know you can create magical things it, it becomes you know this individuals are just blossom the fulbright is a wonderful experience it's a game changer it's a game changer in your profession it's a game changer uh, in the particular kind of field of study that you're doing when you're afforded to study in the united states or probably any european country for that matter there's always this big temptation to just probably you know why not stay there you know, why not uh, continue my studies? But at the back of your mind, you're asking, you know, what, what, what am I, where, where should I be offering these images and, 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 and uh, uh, talent that has been, you know, somehow honed within this context of uh, uh, foreign educational system? Um, I think, you know, it's, 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 it's a certain kind of responsibility that you have to give back. You share this knowledge and you continue this, this, this tradition of, of, of excellence, this tradition of, of uh, selflessness in, in, in sharing your particular talents. It would be only as good as you want it to be. Make the most out of it. Mm -hmm.